Well, guys, I just thought I'd show you this. This is quite quite entertaining, actually. I'm rendering uh, my driving video on my desktop, and this is what happens every time I try to render a video. <laughs> Look how slow it's going! It's that slow. My mouse is there. But my mouse pointer is still jumping around the screen, look! But my mouse is there, not being moved at all! Oh, the CPU is locked on to 100%! <laughs> my poor computer! <laughs> Damn videos used to render faster on, uh, on my netbook on this, this thing's just so slow, it's a much better CPU, oh there we go <laughs> we're starting to see Vegas Pro yeah that's pretty easy I know Mr. Uh, Mr. Aussie 50 was trying to watermark some of his videos well uh, in Vegas Pro it's a really simple easy thing to do, it's got to be easy otherwise I wouldn't do it uh, you can see there you've got three layers, you've got your picture which is the watermark on the top layer, your video and your sound. Now on this video, the upload I've just done, the sound failed. I don't know whether it was my video uh, previously that I just encoded or if it was uh, YouTube because YouTube for some reason isn't uploading my videos very well. Uh, but you can see I've got the watermark up there which is quite nice. Very very basic logo, I was quite bored. Um, I like the colour green, so green logo, white back. Uh, sorry, yeah, green logo, yellow text, clear background. Yeah, that does the job nice. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it is so slow on here. It's going to take uh, 51, 15 minutes. That's going up. <laughs> it's going up. You shouldn't do that! Oh well. Crazy stuff. <clears throat> My poor CPU. I can't even get to move it. Okay, I'm going to move the mouse now. That's me moving the mouse! Oh, oh there we go, it's moving. And I can just keep moving now for ages. <laughs> yeah. My poor computer, 2.2 gigahertz, dual core, uh, core 2 duo CPU. Can't remember this. Can't remember what it was now. Is it the E4? The E4500? Is it? I think in this. It was a scrappy old fine CPU, so that's probably why it's going so slow. But the old one was much worse. The old one was the uh, 1.8 dual core. But yeah. Oh well. I'm deleting all my music off this uh, off this netbook. I've pulled it all from the desktop onto the uh, external hard drive. Lots of batteries. And uh, going to delete my music off here, and then put it all of that onto my netbook again. So hopefully it'll uh, I'll have all my music that's on my desktop on here now, because I've got a hell lot more music on there. Uh, the one I have on this, and the hard drive on this is pretty good. Got quite a quite a good size hard drive in here. Yeah, let me see. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Used to have a, six, a one gig uh, memory card. Uh, sorry, memory stick. Now it's got a two gig. Used to have a one sixty gig hard drive. Now it's got a two fifty in. Updated. And it came with Windows uh, Windows 7, and I thought, well, that's a bit crap. So I was like, nah, it's not that. We'll stick XP on it. XP's good. It's it's not obviously as heavy as 7. But uh, installing in 7 on one of these is quite useless. Yeah, doesn't really matter on this kind of machine. Not for a net browser. Hell, I was tempted to stick a copy of Linux on there, Ubuntu or Mego. But Mego is quite restrictive. I prefer something you can put Windows on. Uh, I don't know. Time's anyway. 
that clock's going to be a bit out due to the lag time of my computer, but apparently it's 12.25 a.m. That's going to take another 36 minutes, 15 seconds apparently. Apparently it's been doing it for 9 minutes, but I've only been recording this for 5 minutes. Mind you, it was a bit done already. Hehe, <laughs> plasma ball still going good. Look at it. Zoom in to that plasma. Oh no, it goes blurry. Hehehe, <laughs> it's good stuff. Makes you just want to go and touch it. Whoa, plasma. Yeah, it's good stuff. That was about uh, three quid from Asda, that, that little uh, plasma ball was. Really good buy. Plugs into the USB port on your computer. If you've got a spare USB port, <laughs> it's good, good. Yeah, good stuff. Fish are all happy and good. And guys over there have got the light turned out. Yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm only, I'm only putting this up because I'm bored waiting for this video to finish doing what it's doing. And while that's doing that, I can upload this video straight onto uh, onto YouTube from my netbook. I can't be bothered to watermark it. So that, because every time you want to water, watermark it, you've got to re-encode it again. Um, this camera, luckily enough, it's supported to go straight onto YouTube, so that's what I used to do, just stick them straight on. Is it dot, dot .mts I think this records it as. Um, Vegas Pro, uh, the codec I've been using for that, I can't remember actually. Uh, something, some HDV uh, 1080p 25i I think it is. No, 25p? No, 25i. Oh, I can't remember. Ah, whatever, I know it works. And I know it gives me full HD on YouTube, that's all that matters. But uh, I get full HD on, on YouTube if I just put this, uh, you know, from off the camera straight on to, you know, my netbook. Oh, which is complete. So now I can drag all of my songs, Control A, off my drive. And on to my netbook. Wunderbar. That's good. I'll be able to have music now with me while I'm in the garage. Excellent. Yeah, been looking at um, a new car. Um, getting the idea of, you know, not bothering insuring the Fiat Cinquecento. Obviously in the UK you have to have insurance on a car to, uh, to uh, drive it on the road. Uh, if you don't have insurance you're not allowed to drive the car and it's actually uh, against the law. If you get caught with that insurance, you get thrown away. You know, throw you in the uh, in jail, and that's it. Massive points on your license, and oh, let's just not go there. Um, I was really upset today. Uh, a Fiat Panda 4x4 Sizzly. The um, hey, my computer's decided to go uh, on standby. Well, not. It's still running. Let's just turn the screen. Wakey, wakey! <laughs> My poor computer. What, is, what am I doing to it? Look, he <laughs> doesn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm really putting it through a good, uh, a good run. It's what you call testing out the CPU. Jesus Christ! What is it doing? Damn. <laughs> My poor computer. The netbook never used to do anything like this. No signal input. Oh dear. Oh, no, it's still there. Ah, good. Yeah, uh... On uh, on eBay there was a Fiat Panda Sizzly 4x4 
Um, it was really close to me uh, in a place called Stoke-on-Trent and it went for about 850 quid uh, and it was fully taxed, MOT'd uh, and in really good condition as well and uh, oh I was gutted I just wish my radio was sold, that subwoofer I've got was sold that bloody aerial tuner I've got there was sold uh, what else have I got that I'm trying to sell pretty much anything in my room has pretty much got a price tag on it apart from my PC and my two fish tanks um, just try to sell whatever I can just to get enough money up that's why I'm not bothering insur insuring my car at the moment um, it runs out in April so yeah my idea is to not bother insuring it because I don't really use it um, as you guys know I'm not in work <laughs> I need to be but n nobody I mean no one will take me on I've got I've got I can do plenty of things you've seen my videos I'm pretty pretty good with uh, uh, fixing things and repairing things and destroying things but uh, in the UK it's uh, it's all paperwork 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 if you don't have the you know the paperwork and certificates to do it with it's cracking up here uh, you know uh, it means nothing if you don't have the paperwork no employees don't want to know you that's what my biggest problem is but uh, yeah I've got a plan of uh, not insuring my car which, which will save me quite a bit of money but that money I've got saved from not insuring the car which is be about 900 quid 800-900 quid I should be able to hopefully afford a Fiat Panda 4x4 maybe not a Sizzly which is what I'd like because it's like the brilliant spec one um, I'd like to uh, you know just get a Fiat Panda 4x4 the old style one um, don't know do some more stuff sell some more gear I've got got that generator I need to sell not the Honda one another one uh, that should give me at least 100 quid I hope and then sell my little Fiat Chiquicento out there which will give me about 600 quid which should be enough to insure the Fiat Panda because that is actually cheaper to insure than the Fiat Chiquicento is yet the engine is bigger and it's got more horsepower and it's a slightly bigger car but there you go in the UK that is the insurer's logic if you've not been dry you know if it's your second year of driving they still think they can rob you which is a damn shame, you know. And it made what made me laugh is my dad's, um, what's it called? My dad's Suzuki Swift, which is a, uh, which is from 2008. So 1.25 liter diesel. Uh, because I've got insurance on my Chiki Cento, to add me as a driver on my dad's car is only 200 quid, 250 quid, sorry. However, if I don't have insurance on my dad's car, to add me on the insurance of my dad's Suzuki Swift, sorry, I don't have insurance on my car, to add me onto the insurance of my dad's Suzuki Swift is something like uh, £1,900. You know, this is the kind of stuff that we have to, have to live, with, live, live with here in the UK. It's just ridiculous. You know, I mean, if you've already got a car, you can insure another car, no problem. You know, as long as you're not exactly the main driver. Uh, but I guess that's where the whole fronting things comes into play. Insurance companies, when the you know when you do a thing called fronting, they uh, they ultimately assume that you're already insured on another car, uh, so they let you have it cheap on another one. But uh, young lads who go around, young lads and girls, it happens to girls as well. Uh, who do this fronting thinking they're getting cheap insurance you know they don't some what makes me laugh is sometimes they don't know they're doing it yet they are you know it's uh, it's a dangerous thing and the insurance is void and then that's it you get points on the license and thrown in prison uh, well yeah the UK uh, insurance thing is kind of flawed in that sense but oh well, the idea is to read everything, every every single bit of small print. Oh look, I've got a JavaScript that's uh, 
decided to crash on me. <laughs> oh well. Can't really do anything on this thing until it's finished uh, doing what it does. I think I've talked long enough now, guys. God, this was only a video just to have a bit of a laugh with. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.